In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a gloss effect in a product in a product photograph. So here's an example of a, of a video player, a small video player, which I want to put some gloss effect onto the screen here. So it's a really very simple effect that I'm going to do to create a a gloss glossy and attractive product. So first I go to my Bezier tool, Bezier tool. And what I'll do, I'll create a shape from here. Okay, it's going to create a shape there, there, here, here. And I'll close the object or the shape. To make sure it's close, I'll just try to put a fill on it, say white and just to check so now it is a closed object i'm just going to to do some edits here okay so for example here i click on it click on the line segment and i click on the curve convert line to curve and i'm just going to curve this one like that okay and i'll just go to the top portion of it click on it click on the line Click on convert to curve and I will adjust the curve. And I'll just do some adjustment here. Okay. So now I have a curve or an object here and I fill it white. And I'm just going to remove the outline by drag mouse click on the X button here. Okay. Now this is a very simple effect. So I click on the white object or shape and I go to my transparency tool click on transparency and in here I'll click on uniform and there I can adjust the transparency and there so with that very simple simple effect I made it and it looks attractive now now sometimes it's also nice to put a curve in here so I click on the object I go to my shape tool I click on this line here and I'll make it a curve and there you can also do it that way now I also have an other examples of of products which has gloss effects so I'll go to my other file here and if you notice here, I just do some comparison here. So for example, this watch here, it's just the same concept. And if I move this over, so that's a transparency shape. Undo. If I go to this object here, that's what we did already. Same thing here. Also same thing here and i also did this in a macbook see if these two pictures are the same but this one i put a transparency and you can see the difference very simple effect 